In today's video, I'm going to give you an overall view of the AWS TechU program. This program is an apprenticeship program that will help you fast track your way into a career in cloud computing. So whether you're a student fresh out of college or someone like myself who was looking to transition from one career to another, the AWS TechU program could be exactly what you're looking for to start your career as a cloud professional. So, hola, how's everyone doing today? My name is Trey, and currently I am a student in the AWS TechU program pursuing the role of a cloud support engineer. So in the interest of saving time, I'm gonna talk about three topics in this video. If you have any other questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. All right, so the three topics I'm gonna talk about in today's video are, what is the AWS TechU program? What is a day in the life look like for someone who is attending the AWS program? And lastly, if this seems like something that you're interested in, how can you apply for the program? Hey, so before we get started, if you could do me a huge, huge favor, please click like on the video, all right? It's absolutely free, and it only helps us with the YouTube algorithm so we can get the message out to the people and perhaps reach someone who's also interested in cloud computing. All right, thank you for your service. So like I mentioned earlier, the AWS TechU program is an apprenticeship program. But what exactly does that mean? I mean, what is an apprenticeship? Now, I'm sure everyone watching this video already knows what an apprenticeship is. But there's always one person out there watching who doesn't know. So for the sake of that one person, I'm going to go ahead and explain real quick. Now, I'm sure you've heard the term internship before. But please do not get this misconstrued with apprenticeship, right? There are differences between the two. So like for an internship, right? When you hear the term internship, just think short term. This is set up mostly for like, let's think college students, right? Short term during the summer cycle where they go and integrate into a company, maybe do a multitude of different jobs in order to just gain meaningful experience that they can put on their resume. Now there are paid internships out there, but for the most part, most internships go without pay. Now apprenticeships on the other hand are totally different. Apprenticeships are more long-term, right? This is when companies bring in employees, potential people that they wanna hire, and they, get, they train them in a specialized role for an actual position within that company. When you go through apprenticeships, it's like going to school where you have a mixture of on-the-job training as well as classroom instruction that can last anywhere from six months and beyond. Now, the good thing about apprenticeships is most apprenticeships are paid positions. So it's like whistling while you work, right? It's like you're getting paid while you're actually learning a valuable skill that's going to pay you big time down the road. All right, so what is the AWS TechU program? So the TechU program was designed for people just like me and just like you, or if you have a lot of experience, doesn't matter. When you go into a specific cloud role, there is a lot of different technologies that you need to be familiar with and a lot of information that you need to already know. So some most, most people out there don't really have the technical uh, aptitude to just jump from, let's say, being a help desk support or being a network engineer or being a desktop administrator and just jump right into cloud computing. If you wanna work in cloud computing, you definitely need to be familiar with Linux, right? You need to have some experience with virtual machines, right? You need to know about the, you need to know about the AWS console and the actual services that AWS provides for its customers. You need to know about containers, containerization, microservices, right? You need to know about uh, databases. Like this is a lot for just the average person to just walk into. So that's where AWS Tech U kind of feels that digital divide, right? That they teach you the skills that you need to know to walk into whatever position that they're training you for. So whether they're training you to be an associate solutions architect, or they're training you to be like myself, a cloud support engineer, a professional consultant, a in professional services, a technical trainer, the list goes on and on. What they're doing is over the course of six to nine months, they're gonna teach you individual skills that you need to have in order to walk into a job and then, you know, semi be a flow. Cause, so let's be honest, I mean, anybody when you're going to school, you're not really just gonna have everything down packed day one. But at least if you have like a base of understanding, right? If somebody comes to you and says, 
hey, did you check S3 to see if the data was in the bucket? You won't be like, huh? <laughs> You'll be like, oh yeah, simple storage service. Okay, I got that, right? So like you can kind of work your way around because you have like at least a, a, a foundation that has already been set, right? So that's the whole purpose of like the AWS Techie program in a nutshell. All right, so question number two, what does the average day look like for a student in the Techie program? All right, so that's all dependent, right? So, you know, you can expect to start your day around nine o'clock. However, that just all depends on like, you know, what time zone your instructor lives in. Like for instance, right? When I first started the program, I was living in Savannah, Georgia. So I was on East Coast time, but my instructor, right? He lives in Houston, Texas. But, you know, so for me on the East Coast, that means my day starts at 10 o'clock. I get to sleep a little later. You know, that's always good to go. But what's the downside, right? Gotta work a little later, six o'clock, whatever the case may be. Now, that's just for me living on the East Coast. But we got people in the class, you know, they live in like Washington and stuff like that, you know, on the West Coast. So when he's starting at nine, they're starting at seven. So, you know, their day starts a little earlier, but like I say, it all works out in the end. Now, the way that they have the curriculum broken up, right? They have it broken up into what they call two week sprints. So every time they introduce a topic, they give you two weeks to kind of go through the material and then they'll always have a test at the end on that second week along with the survey. So like, let's say for instance, they introduce um, databases. They'll say, okay, hey, to this week, we're gonna learn about database fundamentals. We're gonna learn about SQL, you know, first, second, third form. I'm not gonna nerd out on y'all. I'm just telling you real quick, right? They'll be like, hey, we're gonna learn about A, B, and C, okay? So the classroom instruction, they will normally deliver classroom instruction via Cisco WebEx or Amazon Chime. And they'll give you all your lessons. They'll say, okay, hey, today we're gonna to go over this module. We're gonna cover all this material. All that is done within that first week, right? So you're gonna go through all the material for that specific section within that first week. So after you've gone through that first week of instruction, now on the second week, right? That's where you have to start exercising those Amazon leadership principles like learn and be curious and dive deep. <laughs> so I got it, I'm gonna explain. So basically what that means is you're gonna have to kind of study on your own and review what you just went over, tighten up any learning gaps that you might have before you take the final exam on that last day of that second week, okay? So you have that second week like for independent study, to fill out surveys, and to do like mandatory training. I mean, Amazon is a corporate organization, so of course you got your EEO, your sexual harassment training, cybersecurity, all this other mandatory corporate stuff that you gotta do, right? So all that, most of the time, all that stuff is done on the second week. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, which is a very, very important thing, <laughs> is that on top of learning and going through all the different modules that they have you go through, you're also responsible for gaining technical certifications, right? So throughout the course, like the course is broken up into two phases. The first phase is like 16 weeks long. It's called Cloud Career Prep, like CCP. And basically that's like all the cloud, the foundational courses. And within those modules, when they're teaching you like introduction to Python, you know, introduction to Linux essentials, um, the introduction to databases, introduction to AWS services, you'll be responsible for two technical certifications throughout that first 16 week period. All right, that is the, the CompTIA Linux Plus exam, right? And the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. So that was quite challenging. They made us pack, they made us take the CompTIA Linux Plus within the first four weeks of the program. And if you haven't taken that test, that test is hard. I've made other videos about that. You can go check that out, but that test is hard, man, I'm telling you. And then the second certification that we had to take was the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Exam. Now the second part is, now the second part of the TechU program is called Cloud Career Essentials. And this is where they start to really dive deep into certain services. So the material becomes a lot more challenging in this phase. And on top of that challenging material, you're responsible for two certifications. Number one being the AWS speaker certification, right? Which you must score a hundred on. And the test is like 50 questions. Yeah. And then you have to take and pass the AWS Solutions Architect Associate exam. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's another thing I forgot to mention. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. On top of, so going back to the first phase, CCP, right, Cloud Career Prep. On top of 
all the modules that you're responsible for, all the mandatory training that you're responsible for, and the technical certifications that you're responsible for. At the end of the 16 week period, you're also responsible for like a group project, right? And that group project is called the case study. But like, even though it's a lot of work, it's a real big hassle, it is very fun. Like you have to get together with your group, right? And solve a problem on behalf of a company. It is very, very engaging. You will learn so much. It is very, very fun. Now, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna get together and they're gonna sign you a small group and you're gonna get together and work on a, a problem set. It's gonna take you about maybe two, three weeks, something like that. After that, they're gonna fly everyone out to Seattle. And you know, we had a great time. We got a chance to walk around Seattle, experience the culture of Seattle, where Amazon started. We got to walk through the different, uh, the various Amazon buildings. And then they brought us to like this tech center where they had all this cool, innovative stuff that they was planning on releasing years down the road you're gonna have you're gonna have a lot of fun just let me tell you right there's gonna be days where you know i'm telling you it, it, it's a hassle you know what i mean it's a hassle sometimes i mean i i can't lie you know you're gonna get frustrated you know there's gonna be days where you're gonna be scratching out your hair if you still have some and it's not a problem for uncle trey but you know for some of y'all that have hair you know you might be trying to scratch it out some days you know what i'm saying but so i digress you're responsible for the case study at the end of the first 16 week period then at the end of the second 16 week period, they have what's called a capstone. Now this is another project, but this project goes much, much more in detail. And it goes so far in detail that they give you like a, between four and six weeks to complete it. It's still a group project, so you wanna have to deal with the group dynamic, you know, so whether you good at working in groups or not, you're gonna have to deal with other people, right? But you're gonna have a lot of fun with that project. And then for this project, we're not going to Seattle, we're gonna to fly to Herndon, Virginia and deliver our capstones over there. So that's that's very good, I'm looking forward to that. I'm actually uh, doing that in about three days. So that's pretty good. All right, and lastly, right, I'm gonna leave a link in the video. If you feel like this is something that you wanna do and you feel like you wanna to try to apply for the AWS Tech U program, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of the video so that way you can kinda of check out the different job roles. I'm gonna tell you like this, listen. Don't let the job descriptions throw you off or just automatically shut you down. Like, oh, oh, adios mio, I can't do it. Hey, look, uh, if you feel like it's something you can do, apply. Worst thing they can do is say no or you just never hear from them. Like, <laughs> that's the worst thing that can happen. You know what I'm saying? But give yourself a chance. Do not cheat yourself short. Give yourself a chance, okay? Hey, so I hope you guys got something out of today's video. If you did, I appreciate, I would appreciate so much if you could please click like so we can satisfy the YouTube algorithm and get the message out to the people. I've said it so much, it's almost rehearsed. Just do it! <laughs> All right, man, I'm out. See y'all.